Hi, this is DJ XLR from the Netherlands. I hope you're gonna enjoy this tutorial. This is all about connecting Pioneer CDJ 2000s to the beautiful large screen iMac giving you a lot of extra functionalities. So this tutorial is gonna explain a little bit on how to connect these nice Pioneers using a Pioneer mixer and number two getting a lot of extra features which is a keyboard and a lot of fun in a large screen display so let me explain you how this all works the idea is to connect your CDJ 2000 directly to your iMac the big advantage is that you can have all functionalities working right over your screen and giving you a lot of extra functionalities like easy search of tracks in case of request songs seeing all your playlists, large display on audio spectrum all the looping works and it's all hardware connected as well as hardware operations directly from your Pioneer CDJ2000 as well as you can still use like CD functionality or your storage card, SD card, or a USB device, external hard disk, and in this case we go link the Pioneer. So how this works is if you push the link button and you're connected to your iMac, which I will explain right after, you will get this screen. If you went back as far as you can with the back button in the menu, just as far as you can, you see the control mode, USB, MIDI and you just click this one and it says that it wants to connect push to connect so I'm pushing actually the scroll button I want to connect so what it now asks from you is do you want by scrolling the selector this to be your deck A, B, C or D so you can easily connect four pioneers in this case this is my left player I confirm this is my A player already connected so now I go to the right side I do exactly the same same thing I turn the button I want to connect and I say by turning the button I want my deck B push it connect it as well so now I have connected player 1 and player 2 as a MIDI device directly with Tractor Audio so what I also do is I will enlarge my screen into the max. I have a beautiful overview. There's a big wide screen offering you all kinds of functionality the tra tractor can give to you. So how this all works and connect, I will now tell you going to the back side. So number one is the external hard disk that has a power power cable going to the power plugs in the floor in this case the whole setup takes six cables 220 volt and the other one is the first USB cable from the hard disk going directly to this one number one USB so all four are actually now taken so it might be handy having an extra USB hub a powered USB hub so you have some more connectivity as well as power voltage available using an external hub, USB hub. So now the interesting part. We go to the back side of the Pioneer and you will find on the right side bottom, I will take the plug out, the connection from Pioneer. So this is the USB cable. Right side button, just click it in and you're connected to the iMac. So this is number two USB. You do exactly the same thing on the other side player, which is your A player, as we just selected. So here's the cable going to the back side. This is number three. And number four, in this case, is an external sound card, high quality sound card because I'm not using a Pioneer Nexus mixer otherwise you can connect your iMac directly to the Nexus mixer 900 
DJM 900, in this case external sound card, two tracks output, which I made track B, so actually track 2 and track 3 on my mixer that you'll find here. So this is track 2 and this is track 3. So number 1 actually is the hardware connection to Pioneer Deck A. So you also have the CD functionality as well as USB external device functionality. And the other one also the Tulip connections for track number 4 on the mixer. So what you have in the front, now available, all connected, like instantly, in minutes, four decks available. Number two and three are the tractor decks, A and B. And number one is hardware play, CDs. And number four, hardware play, CDs or USB, deck B. Very nice. So now all the extra functionalities. As you know, when you use an external USB device, you have to scroll like your butt off to find a track and perhaps working with a scroll bar, putting in the alphanumerical A till Z, maybe making a wrong typo, having to correct it. Not necessary anymore because now this all works with your tractor going to playlists. I just push the button, the scroll button. Here are all the playlists. I take my hot lists. Here's the search field and I can find any song I like using the keyboard. Let's say I want to find some omit s. I give a return, you see the search field, it says OMIT S, I give an enter, and here are all OMIT S. How easy can it be? So next step will be So here they are. And you can easily say load into track A. Here goes the song. Track A. And you see it all popped up in there. So the huge advantage is that you have a very very easy search overview of all your playlists instead of having to scroll your butt off in this small display. But even more handy is that you can have, you can use the search field using your keyboard and type in the song that is on your hard disk and you'll find it instantly in your collection and you do a deck load. The search field, you will see that if I use this button, it is all connected. So I'm now scrolling on my playlists. If I push the playlist, I jump in the playlist. I find a song and I select the song. Easy as that. I can do the same thing on the right side, loading to deck B. How handy can this be? Connections, just three USB cables plus an external hard disk. So now you have all the extra functionalities by pushing your play buttons. Here you go. Or the cues. So all your cue points you can you can easily make in your tractor device, finding all your tracks, making cue points. And it's all hardware connected. You see that this, uh, also the plate is working very well, all directly connected to tractor. Setup was in minutes offering a huge variety of possibilities, having all the effects available from Traktor, all playlists. Have a lot of fun, I hope you liked it. More questions, please send me an email 
on info at djxlr.nl from the Netherlands or go to my website www.djxlr.com. Have a lot of fun. <laughs>